Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Demonic Abyss channel. A while back, um, especially for you OG viewers of the channel, you might remember that I covered a guy who went by the moniker Joss from Bakersfield. If you have a crush on a girl, and she has a boyfriend, and you really like her, the right thing for you to do is to make her cheat on her boyfriend. That's the right thing to do. Nah, motherfucker. Nah. I'm not sure who made you the love guru, but that is some horrible advice. If I was a woman with a rich and successful boyfriend, I don't know, maybe I was lucky enough to get Bill Gates on the rebound, and I saw this bundle of grease walking up to me begging on his hands and knees for me to cheat on my boyfriend, I'd be getting my tight little ass out of there and calling 911 immediately. Send that fucker off to jail. Now Joss, he is an interesting character. He is a man whose entire personality, his entire life, revolves around the shithole in California known as Bakersfield. You fucking guessed it. Almost so that this fixation is, uh, kind of giving off some serial killer type vibes. He focuses a lot on the crime that happens in Bakersfield. Especially rape. That seems to be one of his favorite uh, topics of discussing. Bakersfield is a good sex ed teacher due to all the stories of rape and incest told throughout the city of Bakersfield from the victims of rape and incest. He often compares Bakersfield to Gotham City. Which, I mean, that analogy might not be too far off, especially if there are creeps like that roaming around the city. Feral humans on the loose. Any woman who sees this man chasing after him with a vlogging camera begging to be interviewed would be running the opposite direction. He's provided a lot of hot takes. Like, um, oh, this is one of my personal favorites. Donald Trump should build a wall around Bakersfield. But, uh, realistically, seeing is believing here. You gotta get a glimpse into the madness of this man to truly understand him. Now, when I say that, I'm talking about me. I'm the mad one. But we also have Mr. Bakersfield, Mr. Joshua. And we'll be playing one of those clips for you real shortly. This here is a Bakersfield love story. Now Joshua, he's a man who's very open about his relationship woes. His struggles in finding female companionship. This year is the parking lot that I once brought a low-end prostitute to have sex with. Now that's a spicy introduction right there. You see this parking lot? That's where I found some cheap hooker, drugged her up with some cocaine that was left in the back of my pocket, and we ass fucked on an old Seve Corvette. Brings a tear to my eyes, some of the most nostalgic memories I can recall. It was a good time. Really tight. <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> I made her sit in front of me. I made her sit on my meat stick and I told her to ride me. This man has such a way with words. His meat stick. It's probably some old rotten moldy pepperoni that got left in the gas station cells a bit too long. You know, past the expiration date. If I were to put aside my heterosexual nature for a hot minute and uh, try to place myself in the shoes of a bisexual LGBT man, some big rainbow strap shoes, and I saw Mr. Joss from Bakersfield, That'd be a hard pass from me. She did that for about two minutes, pretending I was a horse or a donkey or a unicorn that she was riding. <laughs> she told me many things, such as, she said, this is the first fuck stick I've had. <laughs> that was really- This is the first fuck stick I've had. Now this is a very uh, inexperienced prostitute, if I do say so myself. He finds this woman, random woman on the street corner, I presume, or maybe he finds her name in the uh, the telephone book. And he's like, hey, this seems like a pretty uh, experienced, well-seasoned prostitute. But then she drops a hardball like, no, I'm a virgin. I've never tasted a fuck stick in my life. Or, you know, maybe she's a lesbian prostitute and was trying something new. Who fucking knows? But already I'm seeing a, a hole, a big hole in this fan fiction. Be satisfying. I usually just ride... White boy. White <laughs> fuck stick. She usually on- Hold on a second, that's a big, fat, throbbing contradiction. She said this is the first fuck stick I've had. Yeah, this is the first 
fuck sticks C's had. But then later on in this video, C admits that C rides white fuck sticks. So C's a big fat fucking liar. Which one is it, bitch? That was really satisfying. I usually just ride white boy, white fuck stick. Hmm. She usually only fucks white boys. And white boys have notoriously small peepees. Uh, is this true? Can any white people in the audience confirm this for me? And that's a Josh story right there. That's a <laughs> and that's a Josh story right there. <laughs> that's how you know this is a bona fide hood classic. A Josh story. A real fucking honest Josh story. The most mm. honest stories out there. Stories by me. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as if I was dubbing over the story myself. And this is the closest thing I will ever get to love. I'm sure it is. How tragic. I am a clinical psychopath incapable of feeling love. So this is like some suitor's manifesto type shit right here. And the world never gave me a chance to be normal. Join the fucking club. We have jackets. But you see, why would you ever want to be a normal Joe when you can be cool like me? Ooh, how about that? That's a mic drop moment right there. I will die crying, alone, and naked in my 80s. Why naked? <laughs> what the fuck? Can you not afford clothing? And the universe raped me. And the world rejects me. Like I said, this guy has an odd fixation with rape. Keep an eye out on this one. Keep an eye on him. The universe never gave me a fucking chance. This is so sad. And then he ends off the vlog by going full AK on a Kmart. I'm pretty sure. I saw this cute single mom the other day at Valley Plaza. I asked her out on a date and we started dating. After a week of dating, we started having sex. Things number one. A week after I put my dick in her, I started seeing scabs on my cock. My cock now has scabs and there's all sorts of weird looking things on my wiener. I went to the doctor and he told me I have herpes. I should have dated that single beggar is filled mom. I should have just gone to Thailand and married a impregnated a younger woman. The virgin, I've been retired, 18 years old. I should have not fucked a Bakersfield mom. Why did I fuck a Bakersfield mom?